guys so today I wanted to share with you something that I've been using that has completely changed the texture the look and the feel of my skin and that is none other than this vitamin E oil and it is oh my gosh I'm so happy I found it so happy I started using it because my face looks so much better so within the past couple weeks my face or at least just the area like around my mouth and nose has been getting really like weird dry patches like really flaky and it was red and using just like a regular face lotion was not doing the trick and I actually heard somebody on YouTube a couple weeks ago talking about using vitamin E oil like, on their face and initially I was like eh, I don't know I have really really oily skin so it's probably just going to make it way more oily so I don't know about that but when I started getting the dry patches on my skin and lotion wasn't working I was like you know what I'm just gonna go try to find some vitamin E oil I'll try it out and we'll see if it works so I went to Target and I picked this one up oh, can you see it de la cruz is the name and yeah this was six bucks and oh my ugh, okay first after I picked this up at Target I went to the 99 cent store and found more vitamin E oil there for you guessed it 99 cents so I mean whatever only six bucks for this but I could have got it for 99 cents I guess now I know for next time so pretty much how I've been using it is I wash and moisturize my face as usual and then after I moisturize I will just like dip my finger into the bottle and kind of like dot the oil like around on the areas where I have the dry patchy skin and seriously like not not even exaggerating I would tell you the truth if it took longer than this but I'm not exaggerating here like within two days I noticed a dramatic difference I mean I still had a little bit of like flakiness here and there but overall like the dry patches were pretty much gone and my face just felt so much smoother and the texture like completely changed oh and also um, a couple weeks ago I had used like this bootleg beauty blender that I got like from Target don't use a bootleg beauty blender like if you want the pink little sponge just commit and get the real one um, and I think the main problem with this fake one that I got was that there was latex in it so I feel like I had some kind of like allergic reaction so I ended up getting like a bunch of like little bumps along my chin and then having those bumps on top of dry skin around my mouth and on my nose it was just a hot mess um, yeah so not only did this oil clear up the dry patches that I had but also the bumps that I had like along my chin and stuff like are gone completely gone and it just feels so much nicer so much smoother and although I do have dark spots acne spots still and ugh, if anybody knows like a legit way to get rid of that let me know because I'm still fighting that battle um, yeah so other than the dark spots that I have that just like the overall feel and texture of my skin has improved so much just within a few days and I just feel like that's so amazing so I've been using it um, in the morning and at night um, and I've noticed um, like in the morning when I wake up my skin like looks like it's like glowing I like it sounds so like cheesy and like kind of dramatic but really it does it just looks so much better and like feels healthier so um, I'm definitely going to keep using this vitamin E oil like as a part of my face routine I'm not gonna stop using that anytime soon because it's been amazing and another plus that I've noticed um, after using this oil now for a few days my makeup goes on so much smoother like before I would have to like kind of like dab it here and there making sure I wasn't like rubbing like the dry skin because you know like when you rub it it gets even more flaky and just it doesn't look good and then when you use like a setting powder it just ends up looking even more flaky like no not anymore again it's so smooth and just like buttery almost it just not like greasy my skin is not greasy but you know what I mean it just like the texture is so nice and my makeup it just like glides on now and then when I'm using like a setting powder it like doesn't look cakey it doesn't look dry or flaky like honestly this is the best investment I have ever made and I'm not gonna look back it is really like that amazing I feel like if you're having some problems with like dry patches dry skin whatever give this a try um, and if you're like me and you normally have a really oily skin or like, hesitant about it don't be because it hasn't made my skin any more oily than I am usually um, I mean I might still have oily skin that's 
just how it's gonna be but I mean it's not like it's increased because I've used this I mean if anything it has looked the best that it ever has other than my dark spots and just in case you're curious um, the face wash that I've been using along with the vitamin E oil um, okay and excuse the size I, I went home to Washington and so I had to get like travel size face washes so this is why they're tiny but I've been using it's the Cetaphil facial cleanser and it's for all skin types but I've also been like mixing it with this blackhead eliminating scrub from Garnier which is funny because I normally like don't like Garnier products but this is like actually really nice and it has charcoal in it so it unclogs pores clears your complexion um yeah so it's like a nice like little exfoliant um, and then this is like a non irritating cleanser so using these two together with the oil I've noticed has just completely changed the texture and the look and the feel and I am so happy that I found it so I'm gonna keep using that and hopefully the results will only get better and better from here on out okay so that is all that I have to share about the vitamin E oil but I do have a song for you so today's song of the day is called more than a lover by style of I so I will include the link down below so you can check out the full version um, if you like this video give it a thumbs up that would help me out so much and if you're feeling up to it you should subscribe if you have ideas, questions, concerns, complaints, whatever, leave it in the comment section and I will check that out. Um, but yeah, until the next time, I will see you guys later. Bye!